Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 5. Or last time, we actually helped out the feds once again, the Bureau, uh, by, uh, you know, doing the usual with uh, what we collected, uh, taking out uh, taking out an armored vehicle, getting the items inside, fighting off a bunch of police. And now, after we talk to Devin, one of the higher-ups, one of the people who works for uh, Steve, uh, we actually got an option to go to a job, but beforehand he talked about a man named Solomon who Michael is a big fan of. So we're currently heading off to that location. I think it's right in here, actually. Like, okay, let's see what, what we got. Yeah, right there, okay. Let's go say hi. Should be easy. Seems like a normal mission, because Michael doesn't have, like, the insane ones. Like everyone else. He usually has normal problems. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna take the nice car, cause why the hell not? All right, let's do this. When I hit the wrong thing, I should be hitting the stop. The stop pole. Alright, here we go. Probably would have been a better car to use if I was Franklin, but it's fine. Alright, pardon me. Oh, nope. Tight squeeze. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. 
Okay, well, this will be in interesting. Let's just see how this plays out. Pardon me. What's coming on? Oh, Lord! Well, this car isn't going back in a good spot. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, no, this place doesn't look like a club. It's a normal man's club. Fine, I, I got I got this. One shot to the head and it made my life easier. Let's do this. Almost made it there. Okay, we got this. Gotta slowly make my way there. Sick. You get lost, wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> uh. 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 I'll go eat. Uh. I'm strangely excited. It's not strange at all. Come on, we got this. Come on. All right, Spring Pan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who well. you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. I don't do stunts. For too long, man, we're gonna hit something. Oh, it's fine. I was testing this for the promise of strong trucks. I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Ah! Did you need to fly under the bridges? Whoa! How did you know there was enough clearance? Under the bridge? Stay over the bridge. Enough! Ah, enough! All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you and just stop. Okay, see? That wasn't so hard. Now let's get you back to 
work. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, I didn't even have to fly through hey, some buildings. No, I just why? flew under I everything. Make you an apology to Mr. Richard. Would I be in pain? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always... Always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. All right, let's go say hello. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little geeked up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Ooh. I mean, hell. I'll take a little flying lessons. What a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I wonder if uh, we'll make a call or something. I don't know. I mean, I give that a plus. Like, that was amazing. Like, I mean, executive producer? Why the hell not? No, 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 no. Hey, buddy, I just want to steal the car. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna get uh, ammunition God, after this. Up. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna go to ammunitions, we're gonna see if we can upgrade any new guns or buy new guns, and then we'll just end the video because I feel like that'd probably be the best. Um, so honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is after uh, doing this, I'm just gonna call it a day for the recordings. Because I usually do like five recordings a day, or if I have like a lot of time, I'll do more. But right now, I think I'm just gonna stick Did with five because I want to go and play a uh, different game, aka a new game that literally just released today. Uh, for you guys, it'd probably be months, two months later. Uh, we got Resident Evil 3. I'm so excited just to play that. So I'm like, okay, I just want to give it a shot. Okay, so we got more melee weapons. Should I get this? I mean, honestly, all I need is, like, the main weapons. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I I don't have any of this set up. Okay. Okay, right, we'll just uh, go through and make all my guns pink. So that's what I do. Yeah, it shows that I haven't really I also sell a edited a lot, so. Numbers. Oh, it's already pink, okay. Ooh, should I get the LMG? Oh, I already have it. Okay, let's get the extended clip. 
Oh, that's the etched finish. And we'll make it good old color pink. Could have went platinum, look at that. But pink's all in the rage nowadays. This was pink, right? No, it's labeled. Oh my god, I could easily like upgrade all of this. Oh no, it's pink. Oh, I can get a musket. Oh, that's that'd be an interesting one. Or the marksman pistol. So we can go full on old age. That's that's, that's awesome. Should I buy like a rocket launcher or a gren you know a grenade launcher would be good. Make it pink. And I don't think. Oh, I can make it pink. Okay, I'll buy I'll buy a pink rocket. You know what? Let's uh let's buy every gun and make it pink. Cause honestly, I could I could edit this like later to uh, make I my life one of easier. Those myself. No, I bought the finish. No, oh, it went down one too much. What the hell? It's a cool finish, I'll say that, but oh my god, it went down one and it fucked me. Oh, that's annoying as hell. Then we just got a whole bunch of different music playing. I'm not gonna worry about the pistols. At least not yet. Be well, I could. I will buy the musket and the marksman pistol, though. Let's buy uh, the bull pump shotgun. Let's just buy all the weapons. We won't add the additions, but at least we'll have it. So, uh, yeah, I think the best bet to do now, guys, is really to end it here. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below, and we'll head on to the next Devon mission. So, yeah, bye!